Well, hello, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is 4.52 a.m. I'm on my way to boot camp. I actually just got home last night from my little weekend trip to Newport Beach. I actually got in, my flight was a little bit late, so I ended up, by the time I got my luggage, which by the way, took 20 minutes, over 20 minutes, I stood there waiting for my luggage to come off of the little luggage belt. By the time Troy picked me up and we got home, it was right around five o'clock p.m. so it was a little bit late it was a very very long day yesterday I did not have a lot of flight options so if you didn't know I was in Newport Beach California I live in Arizona that is not a far distance and what I ended up having to do is leave at 8 in the morning from Newport Beach I had to fly to Denver don't ask I have no idea why literally this was the best flight option and then I sat in Denver for three hours before then flying back to Arizona so I was in the air over double the time I was on the way to California still why I have to fly to Denver I have no idea that truly was my best flight option there is no direct flights from Tucson to the Orange County Airport there's not a lot of direct flights out of Tucson to be honest it's a pretty small airport you pretty much have to go to Phoenix for most direct flights which is over two hours away doesn't make a lot of sense so it was just a long day yesterday flying traveling in general makes me tired the weekend was amazing I'm popping pictures in here for you guys but boy I'm pooped from the weekend just the whole ordeal it was a lot of people it was a lot of excitement I didn't sleep the best in the hotel especially the first night I actually slept better the next couple of nights because the pillows were horrible they're so soft that my neck just hurt the whole night I kept waking up the first night long story short I ended up getting pillows from my friend Amy's room so that I had a little bit firmer pillows it is a lot I'm really happy to be home I miss Lola I miss Palmer I miss Troy I'm just I'm happy to be home and back to my normal routine but of course it's a busy day today because I just got home last night I have to unpack I have to make food for Lola so I'll show you how I make Lola's food I have so many fun pumpkin things that I want to eat today so we're gonna call it a day of pumpkin we're gonna be doing a lot of pumpkin type of things today it's just gonna be a really busy day and I'm gonna take you guys with me I'm excited to be back I'm excited to film I'm making a fall type of dinner recipe tonight so you'll see that it's gonna be a busy day but it's gonna be a good day so let's get this workout in so we can get home and have a pumpkin -y filled breakfast I am home from boot camp it was an amazing workout it was so nice and cool out not muggy no mosquitoes this is my favorite time of year for boot camp I kind of get re-motivated re-inspired for my outdoor workouts but now I am hungry I've gotten ready for the day I'm wearing some fun Halloween earrings these are actually from Timu last year same with my shirt it says witches brew coffee stop in for a spell also I believe from Timu last year so like I mentioned I want to be in my pumpkin era now that I'm home and the weather's cooled off a little bit it is still going to be in the high 90s here today but right now the weather is cool so I'm going to make my favorite waffle so it's the most simple easiest pumpkin kind of spiced waffle so what you need is a scoop of the devotion sinful cinnamon protein powder now I have the little packets these are a single serving one scoop or you can get the big tub I will be buying the big tub when I'm out of the packets because like I said this is my favorite high protein waffle recipe and then you need some 100% pure pumpkin just canned pumpkin and then I like to top my waffles with some toasted pecans I like that little bit of crunch a little bit of healthy fat and then I actually have the chalk zero maple syrup this is really good and I'm going to put a little maple syrup on there and then I have some grapes that we need to finish eating so I'm going to have a side of grapes and I'm going to use my pumpkin shaped dash waffle maker how fun is this I got this on Amazon I will link it for you I'm actually going to plug that in and get that warming up. So we're going to add one scoop of the Devotion Sinful Cinnamon to a bowl. By the way, that is 20 grams of protein. I'm going to get this can opened up of my pumpkin. And then I just add pumpkin until I have basically a waffle pancake batter consistency. Just mix those two together. It's seriously that simple. And here is what it looks like. I'm telling you this is hands down the best pumpkin waffle or pancake or muffin recipe. Spray your little waffle maker with some nonstick cooking spray. And I never know how many I'm going to get. I just start adding batter. Usually if I remember right from last year, maybe two or three total. 
All right, so there are my little pumpkin waffles. They're so cute. I got three of them out. My third one was a little bit small, so maybe a little less batter or just get two big ones, whatever your preference is. But I topped it with a tablespoon of syrup and a tablespoon of chopped up pecans. And then I have one cup of fresh grapes. I have finished my breakfast. Let me tell you how amazing that was. I did forget to mention that I did have my protein coffee, some of it a little bit before boot camp, the rest of it after. So that kind of encompasses my solid breakfast, which is also my two protein supplements of the day. I only have two every day. So I will have no further, I will have no other protein supplements today. The rest of my protein will come from real food. So I do limit myself to two per day on a very, very rare occasion. I'll have three and that's maybe if I'm traveling or I'm out and about and I don't have a way to prepare a protein source at home, but I really do on average try to limit myself to two protein supplements every single day. I'm going to unpack, get kind of started on my day. Like I said, I have a very busy day today and I need a little bit of motivation, a little bit of extra boost. So I'm going to mix up my Motivate Burn. This is in the flavor Blue Raz. This is my favorite flavor from Motivate. It tastes just like the Blue Raspberry Slushies from 7-Eleven. It even smells like the slushy smells. And this is going to give me the boost that I need to make it through my morning. Some of the big benefits of burn is there's no crash and no jitter. So it's an amazing pre-workout if you don't like the jitters. Fat burning properties help support your metabolism and taste absolutely amazing. So again, I did want to remind you of the amazing deal Motivate has going on right now where you actually get a free five pack of the Motivate Burn Cherry Lemon Aid. Now this is Motivate's most popular burn flavor. It's really good. It's really, really good. It tastes like just this yummy berry lemonade. And I love these little packets. I actually took these with me on the trip I just came home from. This is a great way to get burn on the go. And again, you're going to get a five pack for free with any order on Motivate's website. Plus you can stack my code for an extra 20% off. That's an amazing deal. So free Motivate stick packs with any order. Again, I'm mixing up the Motivate Burn Blue Raz. This one does have caffeine, but Motivate makes a no stim. This is the no stim burn in strawberry kiwi. This is my favorite flavor. There's also Miami lemonade. I love the strawberry kiwi. I mean, they're both really good, but I do love the strawberry kiwi. This is going to give you all of the burn benefits, no jitters, no crash, fat burning, energy boost focus without caffeine. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, pick up the no stim. If you need the caffeine like I do this morning, grab yourself the regular burn. And then this is the regular burn. So this one is going to have caffeine in it. And again, you get the five pack for free with any order and stack my code for an extra 20% off. Mama, did you just take that from her? That's Lola's. You come one in here before I'm dead asleep. Get the baby. Go, get the baby. Did he take the baby? Just for so mean to you. Good. Are you the prettiest girl in the world? Yes, you are you prettiest? What? No. <gasps> are you prettiest? Are you prettiest? Yes, you're prettiest. Excuse me, mister. Yes. <laughs> well here, get it. Get it, Lola. Get it. Get it, Lola. Oh, she's on a brat. Do you want a treat? <gasps> Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Well, come on. Come on, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know. Come on. It's a very exciting moment when mom asks if they want a treat. <gasps> Is this what we want? Can you catch? Show them how you catch. Mommer, he never does. He has to sniff it first. <gasps> There's already a treat on the floor from earlier that she wouldn't eat. Oh, good job. Do we want one more for good measure? <laughs> These are those dried liver treats that I got at Costco. One of the things I need to do today is wash my face makeup brushes and all of my sponges and little powder puffs. What I typically use is just Dawn. It works really well. It's cheap. It's affordable. I wash these really good and then I just set them aside to dry. I have been saving them up and once my basket gets full, I like to wash everything. I will tell you that I use my face brushes like blush, powder, bronzer, highlighter more than once. I do use my little puffs more than once. These are what I use to apply powder, but I do only use my beauty sponges once. So I typically have quite a few of those to wash. Sponge 
sponges, brushes, powder puffs clean. This is extremely satisfying. This is your motivation to clean your brushes. Now it's time to unpack. I'm going to get some laundry started. Luckily, everything's pretty organized, so it shouldn't take me too terribly long. So I'm just working away in my office and my package arrived that I've been waiting for. I actually thought that it would come while I was gone and it didn't. This is something really fun that I purchased number one for my office. This is such a cool product. It actually has multiple purposes, but one of the things I wanted it for was for music in my office. I would like to go live a little bit more on YouTube and also maybe over on TikTok. And sometimes I just like music playing while I'm working and then the other really fun part about this is it's going to be great for our housewarming party, well, in any party in our new house. Look at this, you guys. This is a speaker and a karaoke machine in one. Unleash the singer in you. This is so nice, you guys. The quality of this, I'm impressed. This is the Icaro Smart Karaoke Machine, but like I said, this is amazing because it's also a portable speaker. So you're going to get the karaoke machine. It comes with a USB cable. You can also connect this with an HDMI cable to your TV if you want a bigger screen for karaoke. A super nice strap to take the machine with you. And then instructions as well as a quick start guide. Like I said, the quality of this is so nice. So this is your screen, hey, for karaoke. And it does come with two wireless, fully chargeable microphones. I love that it has a built-in screen, a very nice screen, and pre-loaded CaraFun software with a six-month membership. You can enjoy seamless singing without additional devices. It has two Bluetooth wireless microphones for crystal clear vocals. The microphones even automatically recharge when docked. With one-click Bluetooth connection, setup is absolutely effortless. The screen is a 10.1-inch touch screen for larger lyrics and easy reading. It has superior sound quality. And it's so versatile for connectivity for any occasion. You can connect it via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB, and HDMI directly to your TV for an enhanced visual experience. While the auxiliary and guitar interface expand your options even more. The quality of this is so incredibly nice. It is super heavy and I appreciate that it comes with straps because it makes it a lot easier to carry and makes it much more portable. Like I said, the screen quality is really nice and I love that you can even pair it to Bluetooth. So if you have music or things on your phone that you wanna utilize. Also, there is a video option. So this is really fun. You can actually have the music play and watch the video as well as the lyrics pop up on the screen with any of the pre-built-in songs so that you can literally sing your heart out. Moving close to the edge, trying to do my best. So the karaoke machine is so much fun. And like I said, it's going to be a great speaker for my office. I love that you can connect it to YouTube, any music apps that you have. And I really love that they've included music and it's good music as part of the machine. Like I said, the speaker is incredible and how much fun to be able to sing along to your favorite songs. Really affordable for how high quality is. I was actually quite impressed with the quality. Just so much fun. I wanted to share it with you guys, especially with Christmas coming up. This would make an amazing Christmas gift. Or if you're like me and you want to host more gatherings, host more parties, just have a little bit more fun. And for us, have an amazing fun housewarming party. This is the perfect item. I picked this up right off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you. I'm ready for a morning snack and a second cup of coffee. So for my snack, I'm going to have a midday square. This is the brownie batter. I know you can find these at a lot of stores. I've heard they carry them at Target. I've seen them at Sprouts. I actually bought these ones off of their website. They're really good. They have amazing, amazing macros. So it's 160 calories, six grams of protein, four grams of fiber, really clean ingredients, and they're really, really good. They have a layer of chocolate and a layer of brownie. Love these. So that's going to be my morning snack. And then I'm still working on my Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew. Uh, Lola has chemo tomorrow. I'm filming this video on Monday. She has her last session tomorrow, and I'm going to Trader Joe's while she's there and stocking up on this because I really, really, really love this. And then I just put in a little bit of this zero sugar pumpkin spice. Now, what to remember about this is it is a concentrate. So I like to do equal parts coffee, equal parts water. You do what works for you, but you definitely want to mix this in with water. 
I believe the back says to do one part coffee, two parts water. I like mine a little bit stronger, so I do a 50-50 ratio. Obviously, more the more concentrate you put in, the stronger it's going to be. And then I do just about a tablespoon of creamer because the, the concentrate does have 25 calories per four ounces. So technically one point, like I mentioned, I only count, I don't count this at all. And it is a little bit on the sweet side, so you don't need as much creamer. It is so good. It's so pumpkin-y. I just, it makes me happy. So this is going to be my morning snack. So I'm going to make Lola's food. I thought I would show you guys what I put in her food. She does follow a low protein diet. She still needs protein, just a little bit lower protein. So it's really simple. It takes me maybe 30 minutes, about once a week. So I use instant rice or regular rice, kind of whatever I have on hand. This just makes it a little quicker. And then I drain and rinse a can of green beans. I do a pound of ground turkey. This is, I think, 93. Yeah, 93 lean. And then I do six hard-boiled eggs, and I just chop these up and mix it all together and she loves it. I mix it in with her kibble, throw her pills in there and it's just a really good way to make homemade dog food and like I said it's really simple. You can also sub sweet potatoes for the rice if you want. You could use ground beef, ground chicken. I mean the possibilities are endless. You can really use any vegetable and the eggs are really good for some healthy fat and some calcium. So here's what our food looks like. Like I said, it's the rice, the green beans, ground turkey and eggs. I don't do any seasoning at all. I'm gonna plate a little bit of this up for her and I always give Palmer a little bit too. It's time for some lunch and I am going to make some real good chicken strips, right? Yeah, chicken strips in the air fryer. It is four ounces, 120 calories, 21 grams of protein. These have the best macros when it comes to chicken strips. Next to this would be just bear. This big bag is from Costco and they sometimes have it at Sam's Club. My Walmart carries it, so you'll just have to look at your local store. But I'm going to do four ounces of the real good chicken nuggets. Not chicken nuggets, chicken strips of the real good. I have some no sugar added Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce to dip it in. And then I have just a little bit left of that dip that I'm obsessed with that I got from Fry's. This is the Jarlsberg dip. It is not low calorie, it is not low fat. It's actually 150 calories for two tablespoons, but my chicken is really low calorie and going to give me my protein. So I'm going to have two tablespoons of the dip and then I will probably eat up the rest of these cucumbers. My dogs love cucumbers, so we'll give them one and that's gonna be my lunch. So here is my lunch. So that was 4.1 ounces of chicken, so close enough. It was two pretty good, pretty good sized strips. I got some of the barbecue sauce as well as the dip and cucumbers. All right, so for my afternoon snack, we're sticking with our pumpkin theme and I'm making a pumpkin yogurt bowl. This is my first time making this, so hopefully it turns out good. I'm using one of the light and fit Greek pumpkin pie yogurts. I have Catalina Crunch, a brand new bag from Nutrition. This is the Honey Graham. I think this is going to pair perfect with this yogurt bowl. And then I have pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's. So it's 40 calories for one tablespoon. So I'm going to pop on one tablespoon. Some of this pumpkin spice whipped cream from Target. And about a tablespoon of my roasted chopped pecans. So here is my pumpkin pie yogurt bowl. This looks so incredibly delicious. I have the yogurt, Catalina Crunch, some of the pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's, a tiny bit of whipped cream, and some pecans. For dinner tonight, I am making beef stew. I really wanted something hearty. I may actually make some bread sticks too. I think I'm gonna do these little mini French baguettes from Trader Joe's. We love these. I just put a little butter and garlic salt on top and toss them in the oven. So here's what you'll need for the stew. So you're going to need all-purpose flour, red wine, beef broth, minced garlic. You can do balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar. I'm going to do balsamic. A couple of onions, some tomato paste, frozen peas, potatoes, carrots, 
rosemary, but I'm using this poultry seasoning. It's going to be perfect for the stew. Salt and pepper, stew meat, of course, and some bay leaves. You also need some paprika. I didn't set that out with the rest of the seasoning. So I have a cup of peas. I chopped up my carrots, my potatoes, my onions. They're way over there because they're making my eyes water. And I chopped up all of the fresh herbs. I added my beef to a bowl. I'm adding six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, paprika, and some salt. And then we're just going to toss to coat the meat. Using my Caraway Dutch oven, I love it. I will link Caraway for you if you're interested in their cookware. I'm going to add in my beef. And then we're just going to allow it to brown. Once your meat is browned, we're adding in our minced garlic. Three tablespoons of tomato paste. And then we're going just to allow that to cook to get fragrant. Then we're adding in two cups of wine and we're going to allow that to come to a boil, cook it down until there's about half of the liquid remaining. Then we're adding in some of our fresh herbs, about a quarter of them, a couple of bay leaves, and then I'm going to reduce the heat to basically a low heat. We're gonna put the lid on and we're going to allow this to simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half. We want the meat to get nice and tender. One hour later. We need to add in two cups of broth. Our meat is done simmering. I'm going to now add in my cut up potatoes, carrots, and onion. Give that a quick stir just to get all of those veggies under that liquid. And then I'm going to pump up the heat to about medium, maybe even medium high. I want this to come to a simmer and we're going to let it cook for about 30 minutes. You just want to make sure both your potatoes and your carrots are cooked through. So I went ahead and added two tablespoons of flour, the rest of our herb. I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and then we'll use water for any other liquid that we need. We're basically making a slurry to add to the stew. So I added a couple tablespoons of water, mix that up really, really well. So lastly, I'm going to add in that little bit of a slurry, stir it in, let the stew get nice and thick. I'm going to throw those breadsticks in the oven and dinner will be ready. So I forgot to put the peas in. So I just added them in. I have them in the refrigerator while it simmered and the little breadsticks are in the oven. I'm going to plate everything up. So here is my dinner. I have my beef stew and one of the little Trader Joe's breadsticks. I love them, they're only 110 calories. They remind me of the Olive Garden breadsticks. I do put a little bit of butter and garlic salt on them, so that is tonight's dinner. So for dessert tonight, I wanna make this pumpkin pudding recipe that I found. I wanted to do pumpkin fluff, but I don't have any whipped Cool Whip, like Cool Whip, I only have canned whipped cream. So I'm going to make this now, put it in the fridge, and this is what I'm going to have for dessert. So this is really easy. It's one pack of pudding mix. This is sugar-free vanilla, or regular vanilla. I'm gonna use cheesecake, so it's like a pumpkin cheesecake pudding. And then you need fat-free milk. I'm going to use Fairlife, since it has more protein. Canned pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, and then it says top it with whipped cream. And I actually have this pumpkin spice whipped cream from Target. So I'm going to make up the pudding, put it in the fridge, allow it to set, become cold, and then we'll make our dessert. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my box of pudding. The recipe says one and a half ounces. This is actually a one ounce. So I'm just reducing the recipe just a tiny bit. I guess it calls for the big box of pudding. And this is one I had on hand. And then it says three quarter cup of canned pumpkin. So I'm going to do a little less than that again, just because I didn't have that full one and a half ounce box of pudding mix. And I'm doing just under two cups of milk instead of two and a half cups. And then pumpkin pie spice. Palmer thinks something really exciting is happening and it's not. And then we're just going to whisk that together. This is my new whisk that we bought at TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago. Just whisk that really, really good. Just get that pumpkin mixed in with the pudding and the milk. It's already starting to thicken up. I'm going to pop a lid on it and throw it in the fridge. That's a wrap 
on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything pumpkin. I'm definitely in my pumpkin era. I will have the speaker karaoke machine linked down below. Motivate everything we talked about in today's video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday. And I actually upload five videos every week. Oh, and the pumpkin pudding recipe and stew recipe are on my website. I will put that at the top of the description box. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.